Hey everyone, it's Miss O'Neill here and today is a good day to have a good day. We are moving right along with our science lesson. We're on science lesson number 29 now. Science lesson number 29 is all about this big keyword here, gravity. Okay, so today we are identifying or we're taking a good look at and we're trying to understand gravity as a force. So force is a word that we learned in our last science lesson. You can go back and take a look at that video if you'd like to. So remember, a force is any push or pull on an object. Any object, it is a push or a pull on an object. So I have this marker in my hand. What would happen if I opened up my fingers? Do you think it would fall down or do you think it would stay right where it is? Well, let's find out. Yeah, it fell right down onto my table. It fell right down onto my table because of gravity. Say the word with me. Gravity. Awesome. So physicists, um, scientists who study physics, call gravity the force that pulls things towards Earth, okay? And not just any force, but it is an invisible force. You can't see it. So go ahead and be my echo. Gravity, an invisible force that pulls objects Awesome, and we call it a pull because I'm not doing anything to this marker. I'm not trying to push it up. All I'm doing is letting it go. And because it just falls right down, gravity is the invisible force that's pulling it down to the ground, okay? Awesome. But what would happen if I had an object and I did try to push it up? I tried to resist gravity, what would happen? Let's find out. Did you guess that it would fall right back down onto the table? Yeah, then you're definitely right. It doesn't matter how much force I use. I could use a bunch of force and throw it up as high as I could, but it would just fall right back down. All right, we've learned about our keyword for the day, gravity. I'm so excited for this part now. I'm going to have you try and experiment at home with a grown-up, okay? So about 400 years ago, there was a famous, famous, a famous scientist named Galileo. Be my echo. Galileo. Awesome. He was a physicist. He was somebody who studied physics. And he tried a bunch of experiments, and he discovered that all objects are pulled down to earth at the exact same speed. It doesn't matter if one object has more mass or is heavier than another. So I'm going to do a quick little Galileo's experiment with you. You can go ahead after the video is over and try your own at home with the not breakable things that you have in your house. Okay? So I have my crumpled up piece of paper and I have a pen. All right. Which object here has more mass? Which object here do you think is heavier? So by a little bit, the pen has more mass. Okay. So again, Galileo discovered that when he dropped two objects that had different masses, like my paper and my pen, Gravity pulled them down to Earth at the exact same speed, okay? So just give me a quick second here. I'm going to adjust my camera down. That's not gonna work. That works a little bit. That works a lot of it, awesome, perfect. So pen in one hand, paper in another. I'm going to get them to the same height. I don't want anyone cheating. 
and I'm going to let them go. They're going to fall and hit the table at the exact same time, if Galileo's experiment is right. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Did they hit at the exact same time? Let's try again. This time with kind of a better view. I did it a little too close to the camera. Um, cool. Three, two, one. Yeah, they hit the table at the exact same time. Galileo is right. Let's go ahead and move you back up so you can see the board. And good. Perfect. Awesome. You could try it with um, the same types of objects. You could try it with different objects that you have in your homes. If you want to, you could try it with um, a water bottle, like a plastic water bottle that's full and then one that's empty. You could do it with, um, oh really, the possibilities are endless. You just have to check in with your grown-up and make sure that it's something you can let go of and let fall down to the ground, okay? Awesome. So, not only does gravity pull objects like my marker and my pen and my piece of paper, but gravity also pulls us. Yeah, crazy. So I want you, this is going to be kind of a cool experiment we'll do together. You're going to stand up in a open space. You can stand up behind the chair you're sitting in right now. If you're sitting on the sofa, you could just stand up in front of the sofa. And then when I say three, you are going to jump, okay? One, two, three. What just happened? You went up and then you came right back down. What force pulled you back down to earth? Yeah, dudes, gravity did that. Go ahead and sit back down. That was, like I said, I promised it was going to be a quick experiment. If there was no gravity, when you jumped up, you wouldn't come back down. When you jumped up, you would just stay there and kind of float around the room like astronauts do. There's no gravity in space. All right. So I'm going to read to you a little bit more about gravity that's coming straight from the science book. Okay, you can go ahead and listen along. Gravity is an invisible force that pulls objects. The sun, earth, and the moon all have gravity. Everything on earth has gravity. We feel the earth's gravity the most because earth is so large and so close to us. The Earth's gravity pulls all objects near Earth towards the Earth's surface. When we jump in the air, we come back down to the ground because of gravity. 400 years ago, a scientist named Galileo discovered that objects are pulled toward Earth at the same speed. The moon has less gravity than Earth. So, oh, here is a picture of my crumpled up paper and my pen. I just wanted to show you that they would come down at the same time. <laughs> All right, here's a picture of my moon. Awesome. Earth. Me. You. You. Someone else? Moon. Awesome. The moon has less gravity than Earth. On the moon, we could jump higher than we could on Earth. If we were in space, away from Earth and the moon, the pull of gravity would be much less. And we could float. Awesome. Wonderful. That is the end of our science lesson today. Pretty simple. Just talking about one
big thing, but there were a lot of cool mini experiments in there and I'm sure you're going to have fun trying out and testing out Galileo's experiment all day today. I know that when I was in second grade and I learned about this, it kind of blew my mind. Awesome. I love you lots. I miss you a bunch and I will see you really soon. Bye.